think it's so important to keep uh, Indigenous cultures alive and especially um, here in Australia with our Aboriginals. Uh, they've got so much to offer the land and to the people and even these boys would benefit so much to have an education where they can learn about all different cultures and especially the Indigenous culture and the First Nations peoples here in Australia. Because boys, what do you do in school? Do you do an acknowledgement to country? Yeah. Yeah. Can you do you do you know? Hang on, darling. Do you know your acknowledgement to country? Do you know your acknowledgement to country? It's careful. No worries. Oh yeah. I didn't see you. Can you say it? How does it go? I don't know. Oh, they just learnt it, so they do that every morning. Yeah, so it's, it's cool. lovely. You do that. Yeah, it's fantastic. You know why you already know Russian? Maybe does he? Do you know your acknowledgement to country? No, I know uh, Russian. Russian. Oh, Russian. You know. Wow, that's, that's also fantastic. good language. Yeah. All the languages are really cool to know. I'd be all up for Indigenous Prime Minister. I think. This country certainly needs uh, more, more Indigenous uh, representatives and having an Indigenous Prime Minister would be amazing. So fantastic, I would, I would think that we would be living in a utopia if we had that. I just think these people in power have no idea and, and I feel that um, there's a lot of greed and uh, money involved in people denying or not pretending to deny climate change. It's real, it's happening and we see it in our droughts, in all the fires that are happening at the moment and re yeah really I think there's so much to do with climate change and I think these little boys are even telling us to stop using plastic and looking after the earth, so. Uh, I think there's a long way to go, but um, I think certainly the people in power need to learn that uh, you know it's our children's future on the line and they need to start being more proactive and saving the earth. What do you think about saving the environment? <laughs> Well, that's probably a, a renewable resource. <laughs> How do you feel about Uluru being closed off for the public? Oh, I think that's great. You know, I think it's so important to um, you know honor these honor these indigenous cultures and certainly the First Nations culture. to do that and I am um, going home very soon my love. Yeah I think it's great to, to that they did that. When are we gonna go to the other parts? Soon Bubby. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You go out to a particular demographic or a group of people, could be of any size and through an iterative process you come up with a, a list of action items or um, you know, an action plan or key issues for that particular group. But the main thing is you pull in all the different views from that group, okay, and then you discuss them you know, through various cycles and come up with this consensus set. Um, but the most widely known uh, word in Australia is Dadiri from the Central Desert area. And there's a lady called Miriam Rose Ungerman Bauman, who's the chief spokesperson of this concept of the deity. The Australian persona is, is one of diversity, harmony, and doing the right thing. Not for a hundred years, not because of our Anzac history or whatever, not for 250 years, but 50, 60, however many.
thousands of thousands of years. And Australian First Nations people had a system of, you know, you could call it pan politics, but there's, a, there's quite a significant degree of harmony. And it is largely because um, they have this process of yarning and yarning circles where everybody's view is acknowledged and recognised and respected, unlike social media today, for example. dog hurts a child, the dog gets put down. Pedophile can hurt the dog because pedophilia is right through the, the Westminster system, right across the world. Okay? I'd like to see us govern our own people in a sense. Right, a young man, I don't need your permission. As soon as the court, no, don't mollycoddle him, you give him to us, the elders. We're taking you out, Bush. We're going to clean you up and we're going to get your spirit back. We're going to put the pride in you. And the most powerful world word is respect. Because if you respect each other, you respect your body, you will not put the shit in your body. So teaching them respect, and this respect starts with yourself, well, then Teach you can truth. give it to others. Teach them truth. And then they, want, then they will go out to do the right thing, you know, to make right choices. <laughs>